You're just so frustrated, you're almost to the point where you don't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michelle Balick is a single mom of two, trying to find a home for the last three years. So I guess desperate is the right word for it. She posted on Craigslist, looking for anything from Placerville to Sacramento. She can afford $1,100 a month. You're working a decent job. Full time. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, when everything's open. Her income is around $32,000 a year as an unlicensed dental assistant. That's more than minimum wage, but it's actually putting her at a disadvantage. And Lamb Park Woods Apartments here in Sacramento is the kind of low-income housing complex where Michelle Balick has been applying to live, only to hear time and again that she makes too much money. A lot of the, the maximum income for a lot of subsidized type housing is sometimes lower than what one person earns at the minimum wage. Lupe Ariola with Tenants Together says it's a common problem for working class renters across the state. There was a few low cost apartments that I've been on the wait list for a year and a half now that contact me and said that I, no joke, made $100 over the income limit. But market rate apartments are also out of reach. Even if Michelle can afford the rent, she doesn't meet income and credit score requirements with a score of 600. That creates these really huge barriers to housing for folks that are just trying to make it month to month. They can pay their rent, that have a job, and yet are being forced to sleep in their cars. And that's where Michelle and her kids have been sleeping from time to time. It's small. <laughs> it's not very comfortable. And it's hard on the kids, two-year-old Zagan and one-year-old Zyla. And when they ask me, you know, are we going home? <laughs> and I have to tell them, you know, mommy's looking for one. If there's one thing that brings Michelle some comfort, it's hearing from others in the same situation. And you work full time, with a good job, um, but you can't afford to live anywhere. <laughs> that and some good humor. Uh, you know, and we're not asking for a mansion or anything fancy, just four walls and a roof. Anything better than just four <laughs> wheels. <laughs> yeah.